Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Vinny and I will be your host. BNSF 6951 shares videos on layout updates, op sessions, run sessions, rail fanning, contests, and giveaways. Vinny Build Structures shares videos on scratch builds, kit builds, kit bashing, also tools, tips, and tricks, and he also does a clinic on how to do scratch builds. Finally, on Friday nights, I do a live stream called Hanging with the Cuz. That's right, if you want to hang out with a bunch of great model railroaders, come and check me out on 8 o'clock on Friday night. That's 8 o'clock Eastern on Friday nights. Anyhow, so if you guys and gals think that you might like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video or do a live stream. And then Give me a couple of those because that'll help out my YouTube analytics. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get on with the video. Talk to you guys later. Bye. This Vinny Vid production is brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail Technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. All right, guys, if you remember in the last video, we started doing these guys and we completed the uh, front and rear archways. Now we're going to start on the side walls. Now, I got a little rambunctious <laughs> with this build because I had already cut this guy out and I started to cut that guy out and I realized right away that I had a mistake. And you say, what is the mistake? Well, the mistake is that when this building gets butted up gets butted up to this building like that and let's see uh, let me move this over to where let's see this wall right here should continue through here but the way I have it if you notice here I have it marked out right here when I put it up against here I don't have that. As you can see, I got a space here and I have a space here. So, with that being said, don't get rambunctious when you start doing something. So, what I did now is I drew out everything again and now this piece will fit between the two arches right there the way it's supposed to. Anyhow, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and again, I'm just using my X-Acto knife or Excel knife. This is an Excel, by the way, with a brand new blade in it. I'm not going to show you the process of cutting this out because it is tedious. Um, this is a 6 by 12 inch piece of 30,000 styrene. I'm going a little heavier on the styrene as compared to what I used on the front arches because this is going to be a main wall and it needs to be sturdy. I'm still probably going to uh, reinforce this behind, behind the uh, walls somehow. Anyhow, with all that being said, we will be back shortly. All right, guys. Now it's time to see why I did the uh, redo of these side pieces. As you can see right now, this is what the main structure is going to look like. And I'll give you a 360 on that. I don't know why they put two arches here, but I'm following what I see in the pictures. Uh, these arches are uh, this the front one is 20 uh, 23 feet and the second one is 21 feet why I did that it was because of the interior walls that need to go in there anyhow we'll spin it around this way and as you can see the uh, front wall or rear wall whichever way you look at it now they're saying that the main entrance is this 
previous building that I built but I think because I'll show you here in a minute what's going to go inside here uh, but we'll keep spinning around the 360 and on this side we only have two archways okay oops <laughs> and this right now is like very very flimsy let me put you over here but my main concern why I redid this whole thing is because I wanted this building to fit the way it's supposed to fit between the two arches and that's what I did just now that's why I redid that all right now again why I say that they're saying that this is the main entrance this is going to have the uh, breezeway and then the clock tower over here uh, okay the, there is a driveway that goes through here so yes it could be the main entrance but I think that this part right here should be the main entrance and I'll show you why let me get this tape off of here for a second this is what's going to go inside there okay there's three doors and four windows and it's going to sit come on get in there just like that so now when you look at that to me that looks like the front entrance and the second wall in the back back here it's going to get a jog in the wall, as you can see like that. Now, this is all for my mock-up stuff, but just to show you guys what's going to happen in here. Uh, that will go in there like that. And there'll be a window in the door here, and then a bunch of windows and doors there. So basically, that's what the building is going to look like. Then on this side here, there are more buildings that need to get attached. So with all that being said, next thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to strengthen these walls up a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this wall out and start working on this front wall. <coughs> I'm calling front wall. Anyhow, with all that being said, stay tuned and we shall be back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, and we are back. All right, so what I did so far <coughs> is I went ahead and put some uh, supports down here. And if you guys check out uh, Ron over at New Haven Rails, even though he does wood kits, he does a lot of supports just like I do. Uh, I recommend you go over there and check him out. Uh, anyhow, I put this number 189, which is this guy here. Oops, let me get it around there. 189 on the bottom, and I didn't put it. I didn't put it on the building this way, because you can see it has a lot of flex that way. I put it on the building this way, where it has a lot less flex on it, so it should keep it a lot more sturdy. And then on the top, I put this number 176. And they did the same thing because this is uh, this is two and a half millimeter by 3.2 millimeters. So I did the same thing. I put the thicker side out uh, towards the inside of the building. So now the next thing I'm going to do, or the next thing I did do actually, is let me put this away first. Is I did. I'm starting to prepare the front wall that goes in here, and that guy is this guy now I have a happy mistake on this and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not but as many times as I looked at the picture of this bill of this building I could have swore that it had arched tops on these windows when I started looking at this picture as I was building this wall I just I see oh no it already it does not have those arched tops so when I put the brick on here, I have the choice of putting that arch in there or not putting it in there. If I do put it in there, then I will do the same thing that I did on the previous building, is that I will trim this out in the same color that the windows are. And speaking of that, here's the windows. Uh, on this build, they are all brown. So you can see I have all the windows ready to go for this section here. I also will be putting the number 176 on the back side here so when I put it to the building it'll have something to uh, to attach to so like that now there'll be brick on the inside here there'll be brick on the inside here and also back here same thing uh, along with these guys here <clears throat> So yeah, crash, ba boom. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm gonna prepare this wall a little further. I'm gonna sand it all down, get it ready. Um, 
I just might paint the inside of this building black. I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know if he wants to do any lighting in here or not, but I'll, I'll prepare the building for if he is going to do a lighting in there. So I'll put a, um, I'll put a number 176 here or a number 175, either one on both sides. And then if I can put some down here on the bottom, I'll do that also. I need everything I can because I'm using, I went back to the 20,000s here and here. Uh, so yeah. So anyhow, let me get going on this and uh, we'll be back here shortly. Be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, I got some painting done on this. Now, I, I said I was going to paint this black on the inside, but I thought that I would just use the uh, color brown that I'm using for everything else on here. And by the way, the color I'm using is this uh, Satin Espresso. And, of course, you can see that it is a Rust-Oleum product. Anyhow, what we're going to do today, or in this segment of the video, is we're going to start putting some, uh, some bricks on this guy right here and I already have the bricks cut out and you need to make sure we're in the right orientation <laughs> uh, believe me I almost made that mistake earlier today Anyhow, I did cut this a little bit bigger than this I could always trim it down once it's on here now I told you guys that I've been using different types of glue and we're gonna try this Bob Smith Industries and see how it works so we're going to do the same processes that I've done on the on the uh, on the uh, archways, and that is to load this guy up with glue and put him on top. All right. So let's see how this is going to work. All right. Let's see. Oops. Dang. Holy crap. Wow. 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 I need to guess you need to watch out for that. That is really, really thin. Wow, I can't believe that. <clears throat> All right, so we got to tip this over very easily. Wow, this will, that comes out a lot. I don't like it. I do not like this glue. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Bob Smith. But you'll do, let's try his uh, gap filler instead. Let's take this and wipe him off right away. All right. So this is the other product of his. It's, it's a uh, gap filling medium, five to 10 second glue. <laughs> That's all right. Let's see how this is gonna work. You know what? I'm not even gonna do this. I just don't trust it. I'm not used to it, so. We'll go ahead and use my faller. So far, I like this glue. All right, so let's see how this is gonna work out. And the important thing is to get it along the edges so you don't have any lifting action afterwards. Then you could always fill in the middle. Now I just gotta just keep slobbering the glue all over it, basically. This glue definitely has a different smell to it than the uh, Model Masters. All right, I believe that would be enough glue. Now, we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other one. We're just going to kind of plop this up there. Oops. And just get it kind of centered like this. And then just plop it up. Plop. Now, with this glue, you do have a few seconds of work time. but not very much. All right, we'll go ahead and weight that down a little bit. <clears throat> and then we also got to do is in here where this white is, we're going to do um, some brick work in there also here and here, and then also here and here. And I also found out that the opposite wall from this one, the opposite wall from this one actually has an angle on it. So that's going to be fun to do. Anyhow, with all that being said, stay tuned, and we shall be back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, and we are back. All right, now you can see that I have uh, my brick facade on here, and I had to cut out this little corner 
so it was pitted over the, over the uh, post that I have on here. But anyhow, I decided I'm going to leave this happy mistake in there, uh, only because I think it's going to re look really cool. Uh, I am going to trim it out. Like I said, um, I also painted, I don't know if you guys are going to see this, but you can see the trim that I painted right there. So yeah, so that's probably going to be the next thing I'll do. But we're going to try and keep this video as short as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out offline and I will show you what they look like uh, when I come back. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, what you're looking at in front of you now is what I have completed in this video, except for these guys up here. Uh, I did do this guy <coughs> and cut the windows out and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I am going to leave the archways in there because I think it looks pretty cool, even though it's not really prototype. But I think I will enjoy the little extra detail that I gave this building. Anyhow, these are the insides. And this space here represents uh, the actual lobby, if you want to call it that. Um, so I did both of these. And I found out why there's a double back here. The opposite wall of this one <coughs> is going to be this one. And as you can see, it's got an angle to it. And that angle happens to be 45 degrees. Now. When it's sitting in the building, what happens, to, uh, the reason why they have this double deal here is because, let me see if I can get this situated. Uh, uh, let's see, this has got to go. Actually, it's on this side. <clears throat> so, it's going to go something similar to this. Well, this double one goes on this side. How did I do this before? <laughs> Anyhow, there's going to be an angle wall in here, and it will be the reason why they have the double dealy here. Uh, this actually leads out to the track, and also there's going to be two windows and two doors down here. So I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, for this video, I have completed what I wanted to complete, and that is to, to get this piece uh, completed with the brick facade, get the insides of these guys done with the brick facade, so on and so forth. So, with all that being said, let me show you what this is going to look like real quick. This guy is going to go in here. And this guy will go over here. And of course, none of this is going to stand up. I just want to give you an idea of what that's going to look like. So anyhow, with all that being said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. PNSS 6951 out.